What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hacks. Today is gonna to be the first video in my frag swap preparation. Now, if you guys are not familiar with the frag swap, it's actually on the 21st of this month, and I will link that video in the description below so you can check out all the information regarding time and price. Now, in this one, I just wanna show you what I'm gonna be transporting the coral in and the frag tank. Now, I tend to do this every year just to kinda of show you guys what's going on. This time I am gonna be using a different type of method of transporting the coral uh, just to uh, better my chances of dealing with temperature swings. I don't know how cold it's going to be, and um, this is just an easy way to move coral around. So these are a Coleman 24 can um, coolers. I picked them up from eBay. They're about $25 a piece with free shipping, and uh, they're stackable. I have the other one over there. And uh, I'm only gonna use two for right now because I only plan on bringing three racks of me because that's pretty much all I can fit in this tank. And uh, it's not that bad. You can uh, put a rack in there and use these little spacers to set on top of the rack, set the other one on there and it's good to go. I'll probably put my LPS, like A cans and soft corals in here, like Zoas and all that. And then use the other one with the third rack for SPS with longer, uh, taller frags. That way uh, it doesn't have a chance of breaking them off during the transport. So let's go ahead and move over to the frag tank. Let me move the uh, tripod here. And this is the frag tank that Billy Pipes um, built for me last year. It's made out of Corian. And uh, the setup is uh, about the same. Uh, basically, I'm using a different return pump this time around. Uh, basically, this is the return pump that came out of the Nouveau 30 tank that I just set up. And I swapped it out with the other one, which was a 1,200 gallon per hour pump, which was definitely overkill for this tank. So this one works out well. I believe it is 317 gallons per hour, so it's definitely perfect. Um, I have the nozzle here. It's in the other, um, other room, actually, that I have to put out here for the half inch. That will work out just fine. And uh, it's just a 100-watt uh, heater. And then the uh, sponge filters here that you can remove. I will go ahead and leave these at the bottom. Put a, a bag of carbon and then put a um, kind of like a uh, felt uh, piece of fabric over here. And that will uh, pretty much drain off anything and uh, take care of any kind of uh, stress that the coral will have. You know, a lot of zoas get stressed during moving, so they release their toxic. Uh, and uh, the carbon will take care of that. And the felt will take care of any kind of uh, debris, or, debris or anything that's making the tank cloudy. But uh, it's pretty good. I like this frag tank. It's really light and it's a lot different than what you see on most frag swaps. Now the cover here, I went ahead and made a notch in it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, kind of. And uh, that works out well for the uh, cords here. If I can do it with one hand. Yeah, so it's all flush, good to go. Works out well. And I will be using the Zetlite UFO that's currently over the 30 gallon Nouveau because I have a new light coming in the mail. And uh, you guys will see that when it gets here. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, the frag rack themselves are exactly the same width. And I can, again, I can fit three of them. This is about 30 inches here. And I could fit uh, three 10 inch wide frag racks. And uh, it's good to go. So that's about it for part one. You guys will check out, uh, uh, basically I'll have another uh, second part to this video where I'll show you a coral I'm bringing. And uh, if you guys are looking to go to that frag swap and you want something specifically from my website, I highly recommend you order it or give me an email or something that says to bring that coral because I really have, I mean, I have like 700 frags in the tanks and I can really only bring probably 100 with me. So I definitely want to know what you guys uh, are looking for for the swap. That way I can bring it with. All right. Either way, guys, that's about it for this video. And if you have any questions about the swap, let me know. And I'll see you later. Peace.